Hey guys, we are doing Harvest. My lovely little auto harvesters that um, are in my big idea world and they're really great for survival in trying to keep as things tight as possible and one click and you have your food. So we are going to be making, I believe, the smaller one which these are really fun because it's one click harvest and wait for them to get all to the bottom click again and to stop the water and at the end, other end here you have all your food really easy really great to do so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it and how to make it easier on doing survival. So everything that we have here in my inventory is what we need. Don't really need the sword, but it's good to have on you. So we're going to be needing multiple of some of these things, and well, I'll show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at our one of our ends and I'm going to do let's see one two three four water okay so I'm going to do a little bit different design compared to that that one or even the larger one you can make these as massive as you need or as long as you need uh, the main fundamental point is that you you have your water and your chest and your hoppers. That is the main thing. So let's do this. And I think I'm gonna make these a little this one a little shorter. But practically you need a big box with two openings so you can get to the chest. This one we're only going to make four wide. Actually, I'm going to put my chest there. And then your water, your water trail here. So we're to, this one you kind of have to build at the same time. It's a little confusing to do, but at the end you'll be really happy that you actually spent the time in trying to figure this out. So your water trail is a stair step. Um, stair step lower, one lower than your crop fields. which I'm only going to make them two wide one and two so you want to make sure that you have a stair step you can't do that because then the water doesn't flow correctly actually you don't even need that one or just uh, oops build up Yeah, I already tried building this once, and it I ended up taking a long time on building it. Didn't realize that it was taking me so long. They just, they're really fun to build, and it takes a couple tries because you're trying to figure it out. Okay. And we'll go like that. Nice little area. Um, another thing that you can do is that you can fortify this area, kind of like what I did 
there with the fencing to make sure that spiders don't come up around it. And I'm gonna build this side up just a little more. And then you can build probably your living space underneath because of how bulky it is underneath. Well, how much room you have underneath. Oh, I guess you did need that one. So you could probably build your house underneath it and call it good. But we're just going to close it off. We're going to add water. Because sometimes I don't like to actually fly that much. You put your water at one side. Make sure that it flows all the way down and not into that hole. <laughs> so we're going to just take cap it like that. And then you're going to want to put your chest at the bottom, right at the two opening. Um, okay, then let's take the half slabs and the hoppers. Those can wait. Okay, so you're going to take your hoppers and you're going to make sure to crouch and oops, and click on the chest to place these hoppers so that they are actually setting on them and you can always take out the blocks to make sure so you can get into the chest but yet still have all the food go into them so then you're going to take your half slaps and you're to we're to slab it off. And that was the wrong one. There we go. You want to make sure that the water is still flowing and not getting choked off. So we can put our button here. Then your dispensers at the top. I always seem to not get enough water though. Said I was only going to do two wide and I ended up doing four wide. So crouch and put your redstone on top. And then put your water inside. It doesn't matter where you put it inside, just that you put it inside. Click it once to make the water go. Make sure that it's getting down there that it's not flowing out and then click again to turn the water off so let's take our hoe here and get it to get wet one thing of water one stream of water or solid water can wet up to four, I don't remember if it's four or five wide, but it's minimum of four is usually the best guess for this. And then you just take your stuff. Um, you can do potatoes all, as well. And you just plant whatever you want. I wouldn't suggest doing your pumpkins and um, watermelons in these just because it takes so long for the for them to grow that I would I would do it in a separate patch and you kind of have to play tic-tac-toe with it because you're having to make sure that two aren't going two seeds aren't going to one plant well one watermelon so but this is a really fun really great thing to have and you can do the fortification around it to keep spiders from crawling up on it or whatever 
And like I said, it's really easy to get the food when after hitting the button. So, and you can make them all different sizes, all different all different things. It just needs to be stair-stepped with water going down it. So, here's two different kind, well, same things, just two different lengths or widths. So they're the exact same, and they work wonderfully well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this helps you during survival mode, trying to build a house and make sure that you have enough food. And I will see you guys later.